I work in uh, play musical chairs, and one just follows the last person <laughs> that I've spoken. So it's my turn on education. Um, much like Mark started to elaborate on with regards to education, St. Lawrence College and its future within the community. We hate to see our young children, our young students, young adults, move away from home and education in another community and they settle down there or they move there. There are two reasons why they're doing it. First off, they're not finding the education that they want here. Second, the community that they're settling in happens to have employment in the field that they've trained in or the area that which they want to, uh, to work in. And, uh, when I was in British Columbia, I was always impressed with the fact that a number of the uh, colleges in British Columbia also have a university college designation. Pat knows I, I made mention with it to, to him a couple of times. I don't see why St. Lawrence College can't have that same opportunity. At the same time, given today's electronic uh, age and the uh, ability of the internet to be able to have conferencing here in Cornwall with some of the most brilliant minds in the world in Toronto or some other place, I don't see why we can't access that type of uh, instruction into our community colleges and give our students those opportunities, that exposure. At the same time, we have to look at co-op education, we have to look at apprenticeship programs because we have a whole slew of areas of education that need to fill the void that is starting to happen as people retire. Careers such as blue collar careers that a lot of people shied away from in the 70s are now probably, well they're trendy, but not only are they trendy, they're very rewarding. And they're very satisfying. And with the technology that is out there, apprenticeship programs are extremely attractive for a number of people. We also have to continue to make the investment with regards to early education. We talk about full day kindergarten now, We've got to make sure that a conservative government does not step back as they've done in the past. Anytime we've implemented a full day kindergarten, or put kindergarten in, a conservative government saw fit to cut education, cut kindergarten. First thing they do, they've taken it away. The money that we invest at the early end, going into education, we reap the rewards as they graduate at the latter stage. And that's important that we continue in that area. Those are some of the things that um, I am moving in favor of.